We'll guide you through how to mod Minecraft Java Edition. If you find this useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. Mods can really switch up the game. They can go and add in different features amongst other things as well. So we'll guide you through step by step how this can be done. What we need to do is go and quit Minecraft. Here we are on our desktop. Now you need to go and open up a web browser of your choice. It doesn't matter which one. We're using Chrome, but it doesn't matter as I said. Let's go to a site where we can get mods from. A great site I like to use is called CurseForge. Come to curseforge.com. They've got so many different mods here for different games as well. In this case, we're using Minecraft, so click that and you can click browse all at the top. If you've got a specific mod in mind, then you can go and search for it. But in this case, I'm going to go and find one I want to go and get. In this case, I want to go and get this mini map mod. This is really useful to have. So what we can do is go and click on it. You can then read the description here. Some mods may need extra things to get with it, but in this case, it shouldn't. At the top, we can press files. You're going to see lots of different ones here. What we want to do is note the game version and mod loader. In this case, we're looking for the forge mod loader and we want the game version to be as new as possible, which is this one here, 1.21.5. So we can come to the right, press the three dots and press download file. Now go and wait. Now you can go and download other mods. Just make sure you get it for the same game version, which is 1.21.5 in our case. And then you want to go and make sure it's for forge as well. Now we need to go and get Forge. Forge is the mod loader. What you can do is go and search for Minecraft Forge like so and come to the site. Now, as I said, you need to make sure you get it for the same version. You can select that over to the left here. It's already selected. Press installer. When you do this, you get taken to an ad wall. Just be aware if your download button is for the ad, it's not for Forge. You need to wait for the skip button in the top right, which we can then go and click on and it's now gone and downloaded. Before we start the install process, a big thank you to the sponsors of today's video, Apex Hosting. If you're in need of a Minecraft server, check them out. There'll be a link down below. And at the moment, you can get 25% off your first invoice. If we scroll down, we can start checking out some of their great features. For example, DDoS protection, keeping your server online. Ultra latency, giving you a great playing experience. 24 seven servers and support, meaning you can get the help anytime you need it. Instant setup amongst many other great things as well. So definitely go and check them out. Now let's start installing and come to your downloads. What we need to do is go and find Forge first of all and double click on it. It should then go and open up like so. If it doesn't go and open up, what we need to do is we need to go and get Java. Come to a web browser and you want to go and type in java.com or just search for Java. Press download Java for desktops and press download again. And when it downloads, install it. Return to Forge and right click on it. Hover over open with and select Java and it should then go and run. Select install client and press OK. What we need to do is go and install the mod. So press installations at the top and we need to go and locate Forge. Come over to the right and press on the open installations folder folder icon. And then what you need to do is go and scroll down here and go and find the mods folder. Drag in what we went and downloaded, the mods. I only have one there, that's fine. Then you can hover over Forge and press play to the right. Confirm you understand the risk of playing modified Minecraft. You're going to go and see the mods button on the home screen. Here it is, and you can go and see the mod I installed, which is the minimap in the top right. 